This video demonstrates a novel method for intuitive, human-driven teleoperation of a dual-arm industrial robot. We use a Yaskawa Motoman SDA-10, which has two 7-degree of freedom arms and a rotatable waist. Each arm is equipped with a Robotique three-finger gripper, an ATI Mini-45 force torque transducer, and a Sony Machine Vision camera. In this example, a box is placed arbitrarily in the robot workspace. The robot detects the box's location, moves both arms around it, and aligns the grippers to each other for a stable grasp. The two arms then move toward each other to securely grasp the box and position it into a home position. The human can now interact with the robot using a Microsoft Connect to manipulate the box, while the robot autonomously maintains its grasp. The desired box pose is estimated from the line segment connecting the user's hands. The force torque sensors are used to maintain a desired squeeze force on the box without crushing or dropping it. We translate task space error to joint corrections using the damped least squares controller. The position error is also clamped to a maximum value to prevent jerk in the motion control and force control instabilities. In our visual servoing stage, as long as the box is within the visible and graspable range of the robot, the controller can align the grippers to the tags. The box does not need to be centered in the robot's workspace or aligned in a particular orientation. For our planar estimation, we use Alvar artificial reality tags. We incorporate support tags and estimate the plane consistent with the majority of the tags to compensate for the rotation ambiguity from a single tag. Our grippers have passive joints on each finger, which could potentially create an undesirable contact when trying to grasp the box. We set the fingers into a singular pose, giving high resistance to external force and lower chance for flexure. First, we tested our manipulation controller by sending virtual command signals. The hybrid motion force controller can handle complicated motion in all task space directions, with all six degrees of freedom. The human operator raises their leg to start the teleoperation mode. However, if needed, the operator can pause the controller by bringing their hands together. This puts the controller back in idle mode. The teleoperation resumes once the user lifts their leg again. If the teleoperation is in idle mode using the pause gesture, the operator then has the option of returning the box to home pose by pulling their arms far apart. The operator can then restart the teleoperation by lifting their leg again. For exiting the loop, the operator also has two options. They can either raise their leg again to end the operation with the box still on hand, or they can spread their arms wide to release the box while in the current pose. Overall, the system provides an intuitive interface for controlling a dual-armed robot in task-level manipulation objectives, and provides a good framework for more complex manipulation and assembly tasks.